<laughs> sit down, sit down, bro. I know those guys. <laughs> um, first of all, I'd like to thank God, because without him, um, we wouldn't be here. Um, man, I'm just honored to be here, really. Um, it's, great. it's great to be a Miami Hurricane. Man, uh, I think everybody pretty much said it. Um, I mean, I went to all the ladies' basketball games, not all of them, but I supported y'all, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I, I mean, I, I, Robbie, I went to the baseball games also, ran track with Trina, you know, baseball, football guys. I supported Paige, went to the tennis matches. I hit one tennis ball. That was it. <laughs> Told you about that. <laughs> Um, football guys, you know, great times. Mr. Bellamy, I mean, without you, I wouldn't be right here. You know, so I'm honored. <laughs> Truly honored. Um, that's, that's so many people to thank. Um, my mentors from high school, um, Mr. Ben Parquet. I know he's not here. Y'all don't know the man. He, he goes to every junior high, every elementary, Every high school, pop kids in the chest, make sure they're doing the right thing, check up on them. He still popped me in my chest to this day. And now he takes me when I go home to speak to the kids at the schools. And um, I mean, it's, it's a great honor to know that man and just to represent him up here today. Um, John Hall, the um, secretary at the school of Destrehan High School, She's the secretary there now, um, been there for a long time, helps kids, um, anybody who needs the help, <clears throat> including myself. Um, so many kids, she's still pushing to college just to get away from the neighborhoods, um, all the violence, all the crazy things that's out here. Um, so, I mean, Ms. Hall, all my coaches from high school, Scott Martin, um, Coach um, Roby Show, all my, all, the, all my teammates in high school that just pushed me along, you know, and, and the people in the neighborhood, you know, who, who made sure I didn't do, you know, the, the other stuff, you know, that, that would have distracted me from getting to, to the University of Miami. Um, University of Miami, I mean, without Coach Davis taking a chance, Curtis Johnson, you know, just coming back home and looking for guys like myself, Reggie Wayne, um, Chuck Pagano, I know he's here, so I'm gonna tell him to stand up. He's back here somewhere. Where you at, Chucky P? <laughs> I mean, I was honored to play here for Chuck, and he was a totally different guy. I won't shout out none of the words, because I know we got kids here that he used to say, and um, he, he, he wound up coming to um, Baltimore, and, and, and coaching me there, too. And, Coach, man, it's been an honor to know you. You've been like a father to me, a brother, a friend. You know, and I, I really appreciate you being here tonight and um, just getting me here, man. Without you, I would not be here. So I thank you, Coach, your family, your wife, Tina, your daughters, you know, all of them for helping me with my laundry in college, man. I mean... <laughs> Some tough times, some tough times. <laughs> I mean, my teammates, my teammates from, from, from football um, here in college, it was just an amazing time. The work we did, um, the, the 110s we ran, man, my first years, and, and, and Rich know what I'm talking about on that intramural field, we was running like, we was supposed to be running 110s, but I think it was about 125, 130 maybe, and um, <laughs> I mean, it was just a great time with, with all my teammates. So, I mean, I know I, I can get a little long-winded. I can take this all night long, man. So many people to thank that, that, that really so many people that's walking into this with me. Um, the Sports Hall of Fame, UM Hall of Fame. I got to say thank you because I was one of the guys that used to walk in that building and look at those pictures, those plaques, the old players, you know, all of the history that came before us. And I wanted to be a part of it, not knowing I would be here, but I wanted to be a part of it. And I mean, just, I, I appreciate it. And I'm honored to be in this class with these, these classmates going into the Hall of Fame. Um, my mom and dad who are here right now, 
I love y'all so much for taking that chance and let me live in a whole nother household for a year and a half to better myself as a person. Really, all right, all right, I'm gonna just tell it. Better myself academically. <laughs> you know, <laughs> missed a couple, couple days of school. So, but no, my parents, my parents, because of their work ethic, because of the work that they were doing, um, me as a kid chose to do some different things at a time and it put me back and, and they took a chance to let me go live with Miss Hall, the secretary of our high school and, and, and they were five minutes away. So, I mean, they were still there for me. Um, so my parents, man, I love y'all. My dad, my mom, y'all work ethic, you know, it's still in me. I still got it. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go with it, but <laughs> retired. <laughs> My brothers, um, uh, for, for just their support, um, I love them. My uncle, who continuously support me. Um, if I'm missing anybody, I probably am. Oh, how can I forget the guy? He just walked up here. My roommate from college, Reggie Wayne. I mean, to be in the same boat with him right now, going into the Hall of Fame, and he's been there for about, would have been about 40 years old, Ray Gibson, well, yeah, about 40 years. Been a long time, and um, I mean, we both held each other accountable and washed many cars on Saturdays and ate a lot of McDonald's hamburgers across the street from the school for 29 cents that saved our life. So, I mean, without that guy, I probably wouldn't be in the league, or probably wouldn't be the safety that I am. So, um, Reggie, man, I love you always, bro. You know that. Um, let me make sure I ain't forgetting nothing real quick. I know Joe about to wrap me up. I know everybody ready to go. Dave Wyman, the academic staff at the school, they helped tremendously. So much things that they did, the police, the players. Um, I think that's about it. The fans, Miami fans. What can I say? Fair weather at times. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, some of y'all are loyal, but no, no. <laughs> I mean, I love this city. This is home, always will be. Um, you guys for coming out, supporting us, family. It's always about family. It's always about the you. So I love y'all. Y'all have a good night.